Hi and welcome to the Head Hen channel. I'm Tanya and today I'm going to walk you through from start to finish the steps to take if you'd like to order your chicks through the mail. I recently ordered my chicks through the mail from McMurray Hatchery and had a wonderful experience. So this video will help you decide if it's a good option for you. Let's go. There are many ways to get chicks from a local feed store, from a farmer breeder, and even through the mail. Tractor Supply and most local feed stores order their chicks from companies like McMurray Hatchery, Hoover's Hatchery, or Meyer Hatchery. If you want specific chick varieties and only females in those varieties, and the ability to choose exactly when your chicks will arrive, ordering online may be an option for you to consider. You can get a catalog and order by phone but I'm gonna show you the online ordering process on the McMurray website. Then I'll show you my very first chick unboxing from McMurray Hatchery. I found the McMurray website really easy to navigate on. So I'm gonna start off by searching Orpington chicks. I'm going to select Buff Orpingtons. There's the Buff Orpington. Here it shows what the chicks will look like, as well as all about the breed and what they'll look like as adult chickens. I'll scroll down a little bit more. And this is where you indicate if you want males, females, or unsexed. So unsexed is straight run, females are pullets, and males are cockerels. I really like the quick stat area on this website because this is where you can see what egg size it's gonna be, what color. It's really important for me to check out their heat tolerance because I live in a really hot climate. So it looks like they are good for heat tolerance, which is good. So there's all kinds of information that you might be interested in there. Okay, so I'm gonna select one female and then I'm gonna add it to my cart. And I already have some already added there so you can see the delivery week right now is october 4th i could change that if i wanted to right now i only have five chicks selected so i'm going to go ahead and add one more so we meet the minimum chick order this screen is about the new lower minimum chick order you can mix and match six chicks from this list there's a 35 dollars fee for less than 15 chicks but look at all these varieties it just keeps going lots of choices I see so many that I'm interested in. I think I'm gonna need a bigger coop. Now let's go back to the shopping cart and check out. When you check out, you can opt in for the free surprise chick, which is most often a rooster, and you can add a vaccine service for each of your chicks for just 20 cents each. When my chicks were mailed, I received an email prompting me to call my local post office to give them a heads up about the chick order and to confirm they had my phone number on hand so they could call me when they arrived. The email also had a tracking number and I did find that very handy and I was able to track my chicks, but I was still surprised when they arrived so early. I think they like me. Aww. Oh, it's a smaller box than I it thought it was gonna box. be. How exciting! They're Thank happy. you. Oh, good. One said my name. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> okay, it's the big moment. The chicks are here. I went to the post office this morning, and I they called me at 6 a.m., much earlier than I thought, and I'm not as prepared as I would like to be, but it's okay. So, here we go. I'm really hoping that all the chicks have survived the trip. Look at the babies! <laughs> so I think there's 15 in here because um, I went in with a friend of mine and uh, we went in on the order because if you order 15 you get free shipping. So I was going to get four chicks or maybe six. I got eight to get the free shipping so why not? Here's the label located inside of the box lid. This is important. It gives a little description of the chick breed appearance. 
And this was especially important for me to look at because I split an order with a friend, you know, to save on the shipping. So I called McMurray and asked them to mark my friend's order to make it easy for us to divide up. So they actually marked the chicks with a colored ink and then they put the corresponding color markings on the label. I thought that was great customer service by McMurray and it made the chick orders pretty easy to separate. The very first thing I did for the chicks after their 35 hour journey was to give them food and water and get them to a heat source. To help the chicks find the water, I dipped their beaks into the water. I added Rooster Booster to the water, which is like chicken Gatorade, to give them some vitamins. This drinker is a bit deep for new chicks, and you can add rocks or marbles along the rim to help with that. You may have noticed paper towels laid inside the brooder and scrambled eggs for food. This was just until I could get pine shavings and chick starter from Tractor Supply. I had a great experience ordering my chicks through the mail from McMurray Hatchery, and I hope this video helped you determine if this would be a good option for you. For more chicken education, entertainment, and fun, subscribe to The Head Hen.